gonna be snickering you tonight I'm playing for my aim, so you better believe I'm right I'm gonna be snickering you, snickering you tonight Big break! Ladies and gentlemen, here's Jim Davidson Good evening, Britain. Well, a bit of it. Before we put our first snooker ball, I'd like to get out my crystal ball and forecast a bit of excitement on the show tonight. We've got a special guest on the show. He's a medium. Yes, well, that's what it says in his wife, right? So anyway. <laughs> this fantastic fortune teller's the bloke who told his next-door neighbour to get a divorce on account of something his wife's going to do in Brighton the week next Tuesday. <laughs> You've heard of Mystic Meg. Here's Dipstick John. Dipstick, I understand you have three prophecies about people associated with this show. In a word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in there about my Jimmy? Jimmy White is going to marry Lily Savage. <laughs> and she will henceforth be known as Lily White. <laughs> Lily and Jimmy, eh? Honeymoon night? <laughs> Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Alex Siggins will have a Barney with Gary Glitter and throw him out of a window onto the concrete floor below. Blimey. Will Gary be injured? No. Luckily, he'll land on his hair. <laughs> Should he see anything there about my future? Ooh. 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 It's dirty. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> No, go into details. Go on. What, what, will I be, what will I be doing for the next 20 years? You'll be saying the same four words over and over again. <laughs> I was not speeding. <laughs> no. No. Let's play big break. No. No. What four words will I be saying over and over again for the next 20 years? Oh, my God. What are the four words? Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah, I'll, put up with some <laughs> I'll put up with all the jokes. I've only been married four times. Other people have been worse than they. How many times have you been married? Just the once. Oh, coward. <laughs> How are you, Nick? Very well, thank you, Jim. Where are you from? Carterton in Oxfordshire. Yeah, what do you do yourself? I'm a sales manager. What do you sell? Electrical equipment. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah? Hmm. All right, then. What did you do before that? You were a soldier, weren't you? I was in the army. I was in the guards. In the guards? Yeah, Grenadiers. Yeah, Stand up a minute. You ain't very tall to be a guardsman, are you? I was third smallest. <laughs> was you? Yeah. Did you get the mickey taken? Not by the other two, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no, not by the other two, but the rest of them. Actually, the sergeant major was actually smaller than me. Really? Yeah, but he had to back him up. He had that. Uh, I know the garrison sergeant major is a bloke called Perry Mason. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yes, and he's about 14 foot six. <laughs> he's, in his busby, he's about 15 foot six. Until that, he's a nice guy. In you go, put your hand in there. It's a blue ball, John. Well, Nick, what you need on this prom is a good, fast, clean potter. And we've got one. Please welcome back to Big Break from Grimsby, Mike Hallett! <laughs> Thanks. New great. chairs. I new know, chairs. just sinking to these. Yeah, it? these are the new. Yeah, how are you, mate? Good? Yeah, great, thanks, Jim. Family okay? Lovely, thanks. Because you was having babies one time on well, one just of these one. Just no, one? Just Probably an appointment. How old's baby one. now? She'll be five in November, so... Yeah. Didn't time fly. Five years we've been doing this rubbish, we get away with it. Exactly. Here, we? <laughs> Good to see you, eh? Our Cheers, blue thanks. team, give them a clap. Terrific. Good luck. <laughs> Good <dinner. laughs> <There you go. laughs> Nice tan there, look at that, eh? Where are you from, now. Christina? Um, I'm originally from Surrey, but now I live in Hereford. Hereford? In the country. You haven't no. joined the SAS, have you? No, not quite. <laughs> what do you do with yourself in Hereford? Um, I actually run a gift shop within a hotel for a holiday oh. company. Oh, that's good then, yeah. yeah. You married? 
Um, not quite, no. No? no. Not quite. <laughs> Just mm. practising. Practising. <laughs> Any Could children have a while you're practising? You like. I'll have a word with him. What's his name? His name's Darren. Darren? Marry this what? poor woman. <laughs> and give her all your money. <laughs> give all mine. Do you really? Yes. Oh, forget it. Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm saying it already. <laughs> Here we go, put your hands in there. <laughs> it's coming true, John. Oh, Mystic Meg! <laughs> a yellow ball, Christina. Well, all your horses. This young man was a male model. Oh. He's also an excellent snooker player. Would you please welcome, making his debut on Big Break, Nick Pierce! See, Nick, give you a look there, Nick, because that long hair oh, boy, hurt you, son. I should be on standing on your hair. Get it done. <laughs> Welcome to Big Break, Cheers, mate. Thank you. Hope you enjoy yourself. Our yellow team, give them a clap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Ilford in Essex. Ilford in Essex. That's right. Oh, I used to, when I was a lorry driver for National Carriers, I used to pick up from Ilford Station and deliver to Dagenham. Just down the road. Best job I ever had. Better than this, it was. Well. <laughs> Apart from all the money and the fame and the girls and the houses and stuff. <laughs> but you know, you get So Tony, what do you do yourself? I'm a footwear <clears throat> retailer. Footwear retailer? Yeah. You're a shoe shop man. Yeah. <laughs> you sell shoes? Well mainly slippers. Slippers? Mainly slippers. <laughs> what look like, like Slippers, girl slippers, but do people buy slippers now? They do, they with do. With all this central eating and carpets? I sell just as many in the summer as the winter because there's there's mules, summer slippers. Yeah. Sexy slippers. Sexy slippers. Oh, I like. Do you like them sexy slippers, John? Them, them ones that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the pom pom, -pom, 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 -pom on <laughs> <laughs> You look well wonderful Christmas. in them, John. I bet I will, yeah. Yeah. They go well at Christmas. They do go. They do go well at Christmas. Well, there we are. Slippers are us. You've only got one, mate. It's That's a it. red ball. John, well, I said it red. first. What you need on this program is a good, fast, clean potter. Unlucky. <laughs> Tony Griffiths. <laughs> How are we doing, Jim? Why did I say this? You're not a slow player, are you, Tim? No, the problem is all the other ones go so quick. I'm not slow. No, they're just too quick. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. Our red team. Welcome, everybody. Let's play our first game. It's called Red Hot. OK, ten seconds free. Ten seconds for each correct answer. First one's to you, Nick. Which bird sounds like it would get no score in cricket? Duck. Correct. Like the England team half the time. Do you know, I phoned up Graham Gooch years ago. He was playing in Australia, and I said, Hello, can I speak to Graham, please? I said, He's just gone into bat. I said, I'll oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Which two different words that rhyme answer these clues? Informal name for the traditional Sunday lunch and lightly grilled bread, or a proposal of good health before a drink is drunk is a toast and roast. Correct. There you go. Yeah. Sweat, isn't it? <laughs> Which two numbers answer these clues? Forward, it's the number of players on the pitch in a US football team. And backwards, it's the number of players on the pitch in a UK football team. 11. Let's <laughs> mm -hmm. do this. <laughs> 11 and 11 is the correct answer. 40 <laughs> seconds, you naughty boy. Get down there. <laughs> You'll get used to talking like that, you will. <laughs> 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 Welcome, the in the back, what? Little lad working me at the back. Little lad working you, <laughs> Good to see you. All right, Mike, you've got maximum time. Don't tell anyone, but make your break. <laughs> <laughs> you talk like that at the races, don't you? I do. All right, all right, all right. 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 Have you noticed with Cockneys as well, and they do this, I've seen you do this, they say, they, instead of saying, I saw Harry the other night, they say, I saw him the other night, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and the more Cockney you are, the longer it gets. I went out of him the other night and had a drink, I hadn't seen it for four years, but. <laughs> OK, Mike, you set the standard first to go. 40 seconds starts when you strike the cue ball. Yeah. One. <laughs> 
Two. Yeah, I don't mind about that. Three. They say that and all, don't they? He's only won the lottery, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Five. He's only broke the world record, that's all. <laughs> Six. Oh, might have time for one more. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, I don't believe it. Two. Christina. That's me. That's you. Which bird sounds like it might pinch your bottom? A goose. Goose, yes. Which two different words that rhymes answer these clues? No longer ill and written message found inside the envelope the postman delivers. Better and letter. Better and letter, yes. Mm. Which two numbers answer these clues? Forward it is the number of Greek highlands implied by the name... Do, uh, Dodecanese. Pardon me? Dodecanese. Dodeca de de Dodecanese. <laughs> and backwards it is Vank Deun. 21. 21 and 21 12, yeah. 12, yeah. Give me these questions, I'll get tongue tied. <laughs> Don't normally happen to me. I can only throw the first club at Well, that was an excellent score by Mike, Nick. Seven. Seven. To be certain to be in the next round, you've got to beat that. Right. Remember, you've got Terry Griffiths following you. <laughs> oh, good break, Nick. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Now, you can say what you like about Terry Griffiths. But he is well. No, you can just say what you like about him. Because <laughs> he'll never catch you. <laughs> <It's too laughs> All right, Nick. 40 seconds. Oh, oh right, well, don't wobbly. worry about the rest, I'll get the rest. You need to just step up the gas a bit here. Step up the gas. One. 30 seconds to go. Oh, oh it's not easy, but... Two. No mistake there. Yeah. Two. Just run off that and play on the other one. OK. Coming down to 10 seconds, need to hurry. Three. Four. Quickly. Hit this one quick. Go. Oh! <laughs> Nick Pierce scores four! <laughs> Which bird sounds like it's Batman's partner? Robin. Quite right. What did Batman's mum used to shout out to him at up our six in the evening? Come and get your... Dinner, 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 dinner. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> well, my kids joined in anyway. Which two different words that rhyme answer these clues? Came upon or discovered something and the sort of hunting dog that Elvis Presley sang about. Dunna. Hound. Hound. And found. Yes. Good answer. You're very good. And now, JV will give us impression of you ain't nothing but a hound dog in his wonderful Rocky's Bar karaoke 18 pints in style. Thank you. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Alone all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're out here. Not bothered. You're a okay. legged bomb boy. Here you are. Get on with it. Hey. All right. Which two numbers answer these clues? Forward it is the speed vinyl singles we usually played at, and backwards it is a pack of cards with two jokers. 54, 45. 40 seconds, maximum time. Terry, take the table. OK, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, yeah. to be certain of being in the next round. Hurry up. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Oh, I see. I know, I've done more than two before. How many is the win there? Four to beat. How many? Four. Four? Uh, 40 seconds. We'll so have if to you find got a little one every song eight for you. seconds, you'd get five. <laughs> Not much chance of that. 
<laughs> no, no, he's... How many is that? Uh, one. <laughs> it seems like a lot more. <laughs> Two. Oops. Yeah. Uh oh, oh well, tilt. Right. An error has crept in. <laughs> Three. He's just coasting, isn't he? He is coasting. coasting. Bit of a coaster. Coasting. Isn't it? Bit of a coaster. From Lanetti. How many is that? Oh, you want one more, Terry? Take your time. Thank you. <laughs> Five. You're going to coast around now, Terry. You're not going to bother me. OK, we've got a five and a four and a seven. We have to say goodbye to Nick and Christina. Come and join us down here. <laughs> well, Christina, never mind. You hang around here. Nick, first time on and... Uh, never mind. Straight up, never mind. Have an, early, an early bath, they it's called. Good to see you on Big Break. Yeah, come back and play again. I'd love to. Great. And we look forward to seeing you. Christine, eh? Hey? Trick shot for you, love. I know. <laughs> A cocked hat. And the bigger cocked hat you get, the more out you are in your navigating. You know that? Is that a fact? Yeah. If you take a line, just say you're at sea, and you take a line from that pocket there, that pocket there, and that camera there, which is called, you know, when you take your bearings, mm. on your chart you get a cocked hat. Oh, is that why they call it a cocked hat? No, that's why they call that a cocked hat, because it looks like one of them you've got in your oh, so, oh, is that what I do with it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for that. We're going to do a trick shot with a triangle. It's Christine. like being on how, isn't it, here? Yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> a nice easy one for you here, Christine. <laughs> and you can give Darren this waistcoat, maybe just, like you know, that. swing it a little bit. Hey, are you living in Lowestoft now? No, we used to live in Lowestoft. We live in Hereford now. Oh, of course, that's right. You live, you live, you live, you live in Lowestoft. Yeah. It's down Roten Great Yarmouth. Oh, well, you've got my little place up there. The next time you go home and see a relative, you can pop up there, go and have three points and go for a bit shop. And... <laughs> 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 Christina, what I want you to do, quite simply, is to pop the blue, pink and black with one shot. And it's quite simple. Just hit the triangle. There you go. And you can win this. Tonight's successful trick shot winner, Jim, will win the freedom offered by this cordless phone. <laughs> OK, Christina. Now, you said you can hold the cue. That's yeah. it. Ooh, Just yes. whack that triangle, pop them three balls. Hit it! Yeah! <laughs> Smashing stuff. You've got your cordless phone, your big break trophy. Enjoy yourself. Lovely you day. You may kiss me on the trick. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket money time. <laughs> Hi, guys. Who is the one on the left, Pauls? Heads or tails, Nick? Tails. This is a tail. First or second? First. First, please. First. OK, go and have a sit up there and have a chat with Tell. Now then, you've got to come up here and answer the questions. You. Smack them about, man. <laughs> OK, Mike, the pocket money table. The numbers on the balls are the value in pounds. Keep your eyes on for the double pockets, but the £70 black into the black pocket, indicated on the screens at home, it'll double up to £140. Remember, you've got Terry following you, so you need as much money as you can get to get to this week's final. Ask you to make your break. <clears throat> OK, Nick, if you don't know the answer, just say pass and uh, we'll carry on. Go on, John. Good luck, Mike. OK, Mike. Go 90 seconds starts when you strike the cue ball. Miss Red. Oh, good start. What nationality was the architect Frank Lloyd Wright? American or British? American. He was, yeah. Carry on. There's a song about him on the uh, bridge over Miss the Red. The By what name are the yeomen of the guards popularly beef known? Beefeaters. Beefeaters, quite right. British beefeaters, too. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Red. Oh, blimey. Who is Zara Phillips' mum? Uh, Princess Anne. Correct. Got Red. Yeah, he's having a that that's 40 pounds. He missed three reds on a trot the other night, him, Mike. 50 pounds. Nicely on the 70 pound black. 
Nick Goals. They don't call him the Grimsby pounds. Groper for nothing. Yes. <laughs> 130 pounds. You've got hours left, Mike. Want some more reds? 200 pounds. Two hundred and ten pounds. Twenty seconds to go. Two hundred and sixty pounds. Got a trick run, any Mike. Two hundred and seventy pounds. This is a good score. You might have time for one more colour. Coming down to five seconds. Three forty. <laughs> Mike Allen scores three hundred and forty pounds. <laughs> Top one to beat Terry. You go down there, you come up with me, son. <laughs> OK, yeah. Terry, £340 to beat. Oh, Mike had a bit of a slow crazy. start, but he came good at the end. OK, Tony, normal rules if you don't know the answer. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There is a red in the middle. OK, okay. the 90 seconds starts when you strike the cue ball. £340 <coughs> pounds to beat. <laughs> Miss Red, in which year was the Queen crowned? 53. Correct, play. Good answer. The year I was born, that was, time. <coughs> A good year. Miss Black. Who was in body heat and the big chill before becoming the accidental tourist? Was it William Hurt or... Oh, I haven't got another one here. <laughs> yeah, carry on. Two <laughs> <laughs> shots, 20 pounds. Come on, 340 to beat. Oh, dear. 90 pounds. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, What are we doing here? We're having a bit of fun, Terry. <laughs> Miss Red. Oh, who replaced Francis Mitterrand as president? Was it Jacques Chirac or someone else, Janis Joplin? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Terry. OK, that's you 100 pounds. Still got over 30 seconds to go. 160 pounds. <laughs> What's he running to? 170 pounds. Like Keep going, Terry. Two thirty pounds. <laughs> Three forty to beat. Need a double something. Good shot. Two forty. Anything will do. Two <laughs> Terry oh. Griffith scores two hundred and ninety pounds. <laughs> Yeah, Good, yeah. Sorry I made you laugh there. I'll get a bit so <laughs> tired right, sometimes. Well, I'm not really a proper person who does this. I'm a dirty stand-up comic. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> You're a great sport. Tony, Good here we you. are. You've got a few bob to take back there with you and your big break trophy. Happy? Brilliant. Can't say fairer. It's final time. <laughs> yes, it's the final. Break them up. Yes, it's here at the final at the White City at Shepherd's Bush. I'm thing and we're going to break them up now. Mm. Well, the pink has moved down the table quite a bit, so it's up to you, Nick, to get as many questions right as you can. Some smashing questions to win the super prizes. Get the whole lot down in one minute, 30 seconds. It is possible, but it's jolly tricky, I can tell you. Here are some super Second World War Russian prizes. <laughs> Any reds left on the table tonight, Jim, and our winner can add some fizz to life with a case of Big Break Champagne. Pot the yellow to also tap out a winning line on this electronic word processor. All this MIDI stereo system and top ten CDs can be won for clearing the green. With the brown down, they can add sophistication to their kitchen with this micro combi oven. Clear the blue and they can be a home movie mogul with this video camera and tripod. Sink the pink and we'll give them a glass of classic Madeira wine. We'll even fly them there to taste it. Pot the Black, and they'd have won tonight's mystery star prize. Here we go. Good luck, Nick. Have a guess. If you don't know the answer, your time starts now. How many humps does a battery and camel have? One. He has two. What is a quicksilver more commonly called? Pass. It's mercury. How many vowels does the word 
rhythm have? None. Correct. Name the largest desert. So, uh, yeah. yeah, Safari. Sahara. Yeah, Sahara. 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 Sorry, yeah. Safari. Who won seven Olympic gold medal for swimming in 1972? Mark Spitz. Stop the clock. Come on. Safari. Yeah, I know what he meant. Yeah. I knew what he meant then. He said Safari, but he meant the Sahara. Okay, okay, so it was just three, was it? Just three, I'm afraid, mate. Oh, we okay, missed out on Quicksilver. I thought it's that was the Lone Ranger. Thing. No, <laughs> it's Mercury. Yeah, take that. What was the that first one? one? Okay, and that one. The camel. Camel, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, it was, it was between the two, wasn't it? One well, the one dromedary one. begins with D, that's got one hump, and no. the bactrian's yeah. got a B in it, which is two humps. Okay, Mike, three, three reds. Well, I've been done three. with three reds. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Humphrey's got three. It's been done twice with three reds, once by Jimmy White, once by Tony Drago. After each red, you must go for a colour. It's a tall order, you've got one minute, six seconds. Wish you the best of luck. It will start the time when you strike the cue ball. It's one of the reds gone. You don't need the black, we just need to be on the next red. If you pot it though, I'll take it out for you. Can't be fairer than that. Okay. Take a nice flick. Oh, lucky. Okay. Oh, unlucky. All right. We, we just need this red out of the way as soon as possible. Just line it up or whatever. As it. Line it up. Okay. Right, that's a job lot of Win champagne. Prizes. Can you just run off the blue, get on the yellow? That's about the only way. I forget about the blue, I think. We just do what we can. Oh, there we go. Can you reach? No. It's always a tall order with Very three. tall order. Good shot. Go on. Never mind about the time. I think you've just got time. Get in! That's in. Oh. oh. Go on, hit it quick. Oh, yes, yes, that's in. That's in. That was hard. It's still good. You've got the mini stereo and CDs. You've got a job lot of champagne. You've got three hundred and forty pounds. Are you happy with that? Marvelous. Good. Shake hands and come out fighting. Give him a nice round of applause. If you at home want to find out what our mystery star prize is, want a chance to win it, get ready. At the end of the program with a pencil, paper, get a telephone number, take down a general knowledge question, and you never know. Let's say goodbye to our team over here. Say goodbye to Christina, and to Nick, and to Tony, and to Terry. Say goodnight, JV. Goodnight, JV. Live long and prosper. To win this week's mystery star prize holiday, or one of three runners-up prizes of this snooker football game, just answer this question. Who starred with Patrick Swayze in Point Break? Was it A, River Phoenix, B, Keanu Reeves, or C, Brad Pitt? And ring this number. 0891 555 333. Lines are open for 48 hours to call as age 18 or above, and winners will be selected at random from the correct entries. So, good luck. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. Started with a kiss, Errol Brown's the smoothie. He's uh, kind of unplugged and perched on a chair. Top of the Pops opens with him next on BBC One. Right. I'm gonna be snooker in you.